Ricky Glazer here, welcome back to another video. Now today we are gonna be going through the very exciting task of cleaning your skateboard bearings. So bearings are what make the wheel roll and sometimes they can get a lot of gunk, a lot of dirt in them. And if you clean them, it can really, really drastically extend the life of your bearings. So I'm gonna show you the whole tutorial of what you need to do. We're gonna do it right now. So let's first start with the products that you need. First things first, you need some bearings. So you need your skateboard, obviously. You're gonna need a plastic container. This one is a little bit too big, but hey, you work with what you got. So I'm trying to keep this as real as possible, but a little plastic container, something similar to this. You're gonna need some, you know, this one is isopropyl. Isopropyl alcohol. Now you can buy this from Walmart, from Target. It is only like a few dollars. In Australia, I used to do this with what was called methylated spirits. Any of these kind of alcohol products, it should just work just fine. So acetone, this one, isopropyl, methylated spirits. And I think this is the cheapest one, so I went with this one. Also, what you're gonna need is some skateboard bearing lubricant. Speed Cream is my favorite one, Bones, but I think a few other brands do make it as well. You can buy this on Amazon. I got it in the link in the description, an Amazon affiliate link. If you buy it, it's the same price you, and it does help me out. So it's kind of like a win-win, but this is definitely my choice for skateboard bearing lubricant. Then this is optional, an old toothbrush to help you with the cleaning. Of course, T-Tool to get the bearings off the board. And you know, this is a little uh, multi-tool pocket knife kind of thing to help pop the shields off the bearing. So we'll get to that a little bit later, but some kind of needle knife or something like that. Start this up and take the bearings off the board. So the easiest way is you undo the nut, then what you do is put it on a little bit of an angle, like halfway, and you can just pop it out. So sometimes it can be a little bit harder, a little bit easier. So we got the beautiful Bronson speaker bearings here on Janice's skateboard. And we're just gonna take the bearings out and give them a good cleaning. So there we go. We got all the wheels off and all the bearings out right now. So now we got a nice pile of bearings. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna pop the shields off. Now this might require a little bit of finesse and the right tool. I think any kind of small knife or blade or needle should be able to do it. Boom. Easy as that. So with these Bronson bearings, one side exposes the bearing and the other side just exposes this back part. So I'm just gonna pull off the side that actually exposes the bearing on these because I don't need to worry about the other side. So the way these ball bearings work is when they get gunk and build up on them, they can't spin as well. So it results in our wheel overall going slower. So when we clean them, we can help dissolve all this stuff and work it out and then it will be much faster. So now we're gonna put our bearings in our container. Can just put them this way then we're gonna pour our cleaning agent in now you might want to wear gloves for this you might want to wear eye protection always be safe out there chemicals are no joke pour it in no splashing get them nice and submerged see that's why a little smaller container is better because you won't have to use as much chemical Oh, you know, we can let it sit. We can shake things up a little bit. Just anything to help get the chemical spreading around on the bowl bearings. All right, so now what we're gonna do is let this sit and soak for a little bit. So, you know, maybe half an hour to an hour or even longer if you want, but we can just leave this and then we can come back and finish this off. All right, so it's been a little bit. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring our toothbrush into the mix. So, you know, you might wanna put some gloves on or just be very careful not to touch your eyes, not to touch anything, your mouth, eat any food, but you can take the bearings and you can take your toothbrush and you can literally scrub in the bearings like that. So you can literally clean, just like cleaning your teeth, you can clean the bearing. So we're just gonna clean every one. You know, you can give it a bit of a spin as well. Just make sure you don't spin the chemicals in your eyes. 
but you can kind of feel the gunk getting sort of worked out. So now you can see, look how much gunk and dirt was in the bearings. It's completely discolorated this. So that's good that that's not in our wheels anymore because it's not going to be slowing us down. Now what you're going to need is a little bit of paper towel. So go and grab a paper towel and we're going to just try to literally bang some of the gunk out. So I did a good job cleaning them. There's not really much gunk. But just gonna get a bit of the gunk and the moisture out. All right, so now what you're gonna do is we want all of the liquid to evaporate out of the bearings. We don't want it to stay in there moist at all. So we're gonna give it five, 10 minutes. Then we're gonna come back ready for the next step. All right, so we've given a little bit of a time to dry out. Now we are ready for the lubricant. Now. This is my favorite one, Speed Cream, but any other skateboard bearing lubricant will work, but do not get this confused. WD-40 will not work. It is not the same as this kind of lubricant. It works in a different way and it will mess up your bearings. So never put WD-40 into your bearings or other lubricants like that. You want it to be this kind of skate bearing Speed Cream lubricant. I have the affiliate link is on description if you wanna get this particular one. The link does help me and is the same price for you. So it's kind of a win-win for both of us. So now we're ready to apply this. We're just gonna put a couple drops on each one. Just like a little ring around and just get it really in there. There we go. Now we're ready to put our shields back on. Talked about taking the shields off. If you couldn't actually get your shields off on bearings, some bearings they have metal shields that you can't take off. It doesn't matter. You can still do everything the same. And with this point of applying the speed cream, you can just apply it around the edge and it will soak into the bearings. So if you can't actually expose the bearings like this, it's okay. You can still do everything the same. So now we're just gonna pop these back on. You know, sometimes when you're skating, these shields pop off as well and you lose them. That's all right. It's not the end of the world. It's not too bad, but it is easier for dust and stuff to get in them. All right, now we've got all the shields on. Our bearings are feeling really good. We can feel that the lubrication is in there. It's really feeling smooth. And once you put them on and you roll a little bit, you're gonna feel a world of difference. So now we're gonna put the bearings back in the wheels. The easiest way is you just put them in roughly and then we just pop them in using the skateboard. We're just gonna use our body weight to just push it and then just really pop them in and you'll kind of feel them fall right into position there. So we can just do that for every one. Now, the last step, all we gotta do is put our wheels back on and we are ready to roll. It's important that when you tighten them, you don't over tighten these bolts. You wanna have a little bit of give like that because if you just tighten them too much, the bearings are gonna get pushed against and then they're not gonna be able to do their job. All right, now we are ready to go. Look at that, beautiful. Guys, now one other question you're probably asking is how often should I do this, Ricky? Should I do this every time I go skating? No, absolutely not. Probably just every few months if you want to, or maybe if you go skating, you fall in some sand, fall in some dirt, and you can feel that the bearings are really gunked up. If you skate in the rain as well, maybe you definitely want to do this, but just whenever it feels natural for you, you know? It's, it's a fun practice to take them apart, and it's nice to really appreciate the parts of your skateboard and learn how they work. So yeah, I would recommend doing this every once in a while. Let me know how did you go cleaning your bearings. Tell me everything in the comments. I would love to hear about your experience. That's gonna be it for this video. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe, it does always help me out. Hit that I like skate button, ring that I like skate bell, and we will catch you in the next one.